Yes. Uh, before we uh, close. Yes. Um, amazing results. Um, just a slight comment on the different side. Do you see any enthusiasm in the newer generation? Because once these farmers get older, as you mentioned, it takes 10 years. How that new generation will adopt that? Because what I've seen in India and China, the younger generation, they want to get away from farming. So are they going to follow these things? I don't know if you can comment on that. Yeah, I think that's another uh, actually global problem uh, where we have the younger generation. It's either you have the quick results or you would rather be in IT instead of farming. I think this is where uh, the development agents must come in. Uh, one other thing we have seen, like uh, in Zambia, we have a near absence of public extension. Now, we need to start teaching these generations, I think, from this uh, preschool, the importance of being eco-friendly and also just the importance of producing, even no matter how little, in a most efficient way. So the challenge we have, for instance, in Zambia is uh, where we have a near absence of extension, they, unless they have no other alternative, that's when they look back to agriculture. But I think the deliberate means we've started doing is going into schools so that uh, it becomes a calling and also those who we are able to capture while well, they're still very young. Uh, but there's no actual guarantee that uh, if you have a farmer, you have two sons, they will remain on the farm. But we thought uh, if we can catch them young, there are those who will be sh showing signs of interest from the beginning. And uh, this is also why we, we've been trying to call on uh, a private sector-led kind of agriculture, so that uh, from the way it go, they see the business side of agriculture as well. I think that would be another uh, attracting factor. But otherwise, our fear is uh, if all the young are rushing somewhere uh, where it is easier and worse, then uh, who will do it for us? I think we have to do a lot of mind uh, set kind of change among ourselves, the young generation. Yeah. No, um, following up on Malele's question, I think, Dennis, you explained to me that the policy environment had changed significantly, the ownership of trees, etc. that that in several locations made a huge difference. But I think the other point which was already mentioned is this takes time, and if you sort of the net present value of that, particularly when you're poor and you have a heavy discount rate, then the attractiveness probably is, is not that great. So I think it's a question of policies and, and seeing how one deals with the financing. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, <clears throat> just to add to that, uh, Peter DeWeese did a very good analysis of hyperbia in Malawi systems and uh, was published some years ago in world development and the, the internal rates of return are enormous because there's almost no cash investment um, and once the trees are growing there's no labor use. Uh, but the fact is it takes several years before the trees begin producing their benefits. And so that's part of the issue as well. Development projects are not as patient as farmers and so they don't promote technologies that take time. But I think a sustainability approach in a dealing with our 21st century conundrum is going to come along the way, and development uh, support organizations are going to be more concerned about the long-term sustainability issues than they have in the past. They've given lip service, but they haven't given the money, and governments uh, likewise will be more concerned. So that was our 21st century conundrum um, in reinventing agriculture, and of course the discussions will go on tomorrow. There's a new, there's, there's a side event on uh, the, vi the vision. Uh, for our agriculture in the future tomorrow, so some of what we discussed today can contribute to that, and I know to other parts of the discussions coming up this week. So thank you for coming out late in the evening. I think Dr. Swaminathan is probably standing at the carousel uh, waiting for his bags to come out at the moment, but I'll uh, inform him about the discussions, and I'm sure you'll meet him tomorrow at the sessions. Thank you very much for joining us.